on today's episode of Fix It Your Motherfucker Cell. We got 2016 Chrysler 300. Anniversary edition. So, we got a few things we're going to do, though, girl. So, we're going to holler child in a minute. Well, uh, we inside the vehicle. Um, what we're going to be doing today is adding a amp and a subwoofer. Hmm. You, would, you would say, why? It has the Beats by Dre system. Yeah, it does. And Beats by Dre sounds good. But if you're anything like me and, you know, some other folks, want just that tiny bit more, you know, oomph. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to add a little something else sure, to the girl, you know. So the customer said he wants some more bass to this motherfucker. So that's what the fuck we're going to give it. So we're going to holler at you. But he don't want, he said he don't want to take up too much space in his trunk, you know. So, we got the right shit. We gonna holler at y'all in a minute. This is what the trunk currently has, you know. Everybody knows the old Beats by Dre systems they have in these things. They sound all right. It's a, really, that looks like what a 10, but it really ain't. It's really an eight inch sub that's in there. So, we gonna get off in that. And then, um, we gonna, I told them leave this stuff in there so we can see where the uh, subwoofer fits. And, uh, we're going to mock that up in a minute and then get to work. So, holla y'all in a minute. Now that we got the trunk cleared up, we need to get this cover out of here. And as y'all can see, it's not going anywhere. So, I'll show y'all what you new. need to do. It's real simple. This little cover on the back of the seat. Lift it up. Velcroed. Lift it up. Now this motherfucker's ready to come up out of here. So, holla y'all in a minute. This is what we're installing today. We got the ACM-1.300. Got a built-in line-out converter in it. Then we got the new Concepts Amplifier 4-gauge OLC kit. Yeah. That's the speed wire. And we got the old Scar Audio 8-inch sub with the enclosure. And we're going to put this grill on there because he wants to kind of protect it from whatever's going to be back there. So, we're going to get to it. I'll show you in a minute. We're going to also take out this rear package tray, which is put in with a bunch of clips. So, we're going to holler y'all in a minute. Then you want to disconnect the negative terminal because you don't want them jumping off sparking and shit. So, go going to holler y'all in a minute. All right, we got a T25 right there. Gonna get this old subwoof out of here so we can tap into the wires back there. So, we're gonna holler at y'all in a minute. Once you remove the subwoofer, here's the wiring. You're gonna disconnect that clip right there and you see what you gotta get after. So, holler at y'all in a minute. I'm gonna um, put in a, this down in the, uh, after I get through talking. Matter of fact, the research I found of what the wire colors is in case you don't know what's positive or negative for this motherfucking uh subwoofer plug so be back in a minute y'all not only am i gonna show you the picture i'm gonna tell you so the gray with the brown that's positive green with the brown it's negative gray with the white positive green with the white negative because positive, negative, positive, negative. So, yeah, that's how the plug look going in. So, tap into those so you get the uh, sub signal. Because you really don't want to tap into those. Because the fact is, especially not the sub in the middle, but the ones on the side either, they don't come with the sub signal. So, why not just eliminate that and go right here? You know what I'm saying? So, we're going to holler at y'all in a minute. This is the setup. We got the T-taps back there. You know what I'm talking about? Running. Then we got the, uh, everything right here. It's a little messy. We're going to clean up in a minute here. But pretty much this is what it is. Then we got to wire in the sub. And that's it, man. Tune it and get going. So we're going to holler child in a minute. As y'all can see, the lights is on. So that means the battery's hooked back up. So, take the remote control. See if we can start this thing on up. Well, 
Then again, it probably ain't gonna start because the trunk is open. So, I guess we gotta do it the old fashioned way. So, back in a minute. This is what I was trying to show y'all. See the green light on? That means it works without a remote. It senses a signal from the speaker wire that's tapped into the sun. So, it turns it on. That's why they call that, by right, focus, GTO signal sense. So, we're gonna get to wiring up the sub and tuning and all that good shit and back in holler child in a minute. This would have like with the um, spare tire. So, there it is. Yeah. So, we're going to put everything back in. and That's the sub wire. So, be back in a minute, yeah. Well, everything's back in. You can't even tell this sub was back there. It's all black and everything. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah. There it is. So, we're going to holler child in a minute. Concludes this episode of Fix It Your Motherfucks. What? Oh, hold on, man. Wait, wait. Look like we got the uh, the customer just pulled up on me now. So maybe we don't won't end this video real quick. We gonna see what he say. Yeah, we won't end this yet. So we holler at y'all in a minute. All right, we got Angelo out here. He can tell y'all what he think about his new his uh new subwoofer and everything and the amp and all whatnot. So what you think, oh Angelo? She sounds good. She sounds good. How'd you get here? It's about to come on. I'm, I'm happy with that. All right. That's that bass. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this concludes this episode of Fix It Your Motherfucker Self on this 2016 Chrysler 300 Anniversary Edition. Until the next time. Y'all stay the fuck out of folks' face and try to not get SARS and, and uh, heebie-jeebies and all that other shit. So we holler at y'all next time around.